Hey, I'm Vince Del Monte, and in this video, I'm gonna share five myths that are holding you back from building a successful online fitness business. Even if you're at 10 or 20K months, these five things you need to avoid. I came up with this list after coaching more than a thousand students the last couple years, and when they jump on calls with me, they tell me, I'm, I'm gonna try this, I'm gonna try that. I'm like, no, you don't need to try any of that. That is not necessary, that's not the stuff that's holding you back. So let's dive in and make sure you're not wasting your time or energy. And the very first thing that we see a lot of people get held back by is the belief that they need a really fancy website. They need a really fancy funnel, something with all sorts of automations and integrations, and they get really caught up in building something super complicated that's in fact just too advanced for where you're at or what you need right now. And what the truth is, is what you just need to do is post daily on social media and understand that your social media accounts, your Facebook, your Instagram, those are your websites. That is where people go to get information on people now. They don't go search on Google as much as you think, or especially if you're an online fitness coach, they're looking at your Instagram account, they're looking at your Facebook page, they're looking at your content, they're looking at before and after photos. That is the new website. So you don't have to spend a fortune paying somebody to build something, nobody's even gonna visit it. I don't think I've even sent anybody to my website in over five years. Everybody goes to our social media, that's where business is conducted. Number two, you need advertising with Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads. None of that is necessary unless you're doing over 50 to $100,000 per month organically. And I know that might be hard to believe because everybody says, no, you need traffic to your website. But guess what? There's other ways to get traffic to your website that don't include advertising through paid platforms like Facebook, Instagram. There's collaborations. This is much more effective teaming up with somebody who has your audience and creating content together is gonna to produce a way bigger ROI than any other activity that you could invest into. The future of this space is collaboration, connection. So start building relationships. What this also does is it elevates your credibility. It positions you as an expert and it helps you achieve the like, know, and trust factor from people that would not give you that effect unless they saw you with somebody that they already like, know, and trust. So leverage other people's popularity. Another thing with ads, ads is like steroids, right? You have to earn them. You have to have years in the gym. You have to take your physique to a certain level before they'll actually make a difference. So if you start spending money on advertising, but your niche isn't dialed in, your messaging isn't dialed in, your offer isn't dialed in, your sales conversion process is endowed and you're just gonna waste a lot of money. Just like a beginner is gonna waste money on steroids if he hasn't optimized his training volume, his training intensity, his macros, etc. Basics. Number three, the myth is that you need a lot of followers and that you can't start monetizing a small following. Well, I'm not gonna say to you, you can't build a big business without actively growing your following, but you definitely don't need a massive following. You do need to have intention to getting known and getting more people's attention. But the first job is to get the people that already know you to see you as an authority figure, to see you as somebody who can solve their problems, somebody who can help them as their guide and help them with their fitness goals. And that comes with optimizing your content. It's got to be purposeful. It's got to be shareable and it's got to be valuable VPS. And when you do that, you'll start to attract clients who you can charge high ticket prices to. And then with that money, you can reinvest into things like shout outs and collaborations and better video content to hack the real and TikTok algorithm to get more attention to grow your following. So first thing is to monopolize the attention that you do have by optimizing your profile and your content and your conversation process and your sales process. And then with the funds that come in, we can invest into activities that will grow your following. Number four is that you need to be super ripped. Now, hey, listen, the truth of the matter is that the fitter you are, the more attention you'll get. So I'm not telling you not to keep six pack abs, focus on getting bigger and stronger. That's all good stuff. People are gonna follow you because you're evolving. But the belief that crap, I'm not as ripped as this guy. I'm not as strong as this guy. I'm not as smart as that guy. 
That is a self-limiting belief because what we've discovered is that people buy coaches and not coaching. What that means is that they're buying your story. They're buying your relatability factor. They're buying your personality. They're buying the belief that you can guide them to their transformation based on the pain in your past that you've overcome and now you've shared that story and they want the same transformation so they're hiring you even if you don't look as shredded as the other guy they trust you number five the last myth that's holding you back is that you got to get more and more certifications listen i think getting a good certification every couple years could be a great idea if you're feeling stale your content's getting dry and you feel like you're repeating yourself over and over yeah gain some new tools sharpen your saw but to think that the reason your business isn't growing is because you don't have enough certifications is a lie. The reason your business isn't growing is because you're not booking enough calls. You're not posting daily on social media. You're not serving enough people, connecting with enough people. You're not providing enough results in advance. That's the real reason your business isn't growing. You're playing it safe. You're staying in your comfort zone. You gotta get outside your comfort zone and learn how to market, learn how to sell, learn how to brand yourself so that people can actually discover the information you learn in your last certification instead of getting a new certification and just hogging all that information for yourself. Get the certifications when your audience is saying, hey, we're ready to go to the next level. And you're like, oh, wait a second. I need to go to the next level. That's a good time to get the next certification. Hey, which one was helpful for you? Let me know in the comments below. Which myth has been holding you back? Which was a, a good reset for you today to say, you know what? That's good, but I don't need that right now. That's later. Put that on the backlog. Let me know in the comments below. And if you're ready right now to start, grow, or scale your business, there's a link in the description where you can set up a free call with one of my team members and we'll be happy to hear about what's going well, what are you struggling with, where do you need some help, and maybe we can see if we can serve you and we can talk to you about one of our coaching programs that have served over 300 students to the six and seven figure mark a year, all organically. If you're interested in that, there's a link in the description. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you wanna see next by commenting below. Like this video, share this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.